All right, Scott's figuring this out. We have spotted what I believe is to be the best petroglyph out of the f uh, 30 spots I've been to. I think one of the reasons that they're going to make this a national monument is this right here. You got, I don't know if you can see it because the sun is just ridiculous, and, but uh, you got rock climbers here that are putting these into the wall, and right where they're putting these into the wall, you have petroglyphs like this right here, and faded out ones right here. I mean, they almost stuck it right in between one. So uh, I think that's why over time, they, they will come preserve this. And then check this out. We gotta watch ourselves, uh, son, but hopefully that comes in. But this is a really cool one with the big guy right here. And then I'm gonna try to turn it here. But then you got this one here. It's one of the biggest ones I've seen personally. Let me get this, try to sh focus that more. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but it, the pictures are taken, but it's from uh, from here all the way down to here. It's a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice one as we keep going. Check these out. That is really nice. You have some older ones. And over here, another nice one. This thing here. Check this boulder that fell off of here. I mean, this thing is mammoth. And then all of these ones down here, they just fell. I mean, they have unbelievable petroglyphs on them. And I'll show you where they came from. But this section here, these bolt, these are unbelievable. But they all came from right in here. And like Scott was saying, we don't need like a four or five point earthquake to come in right now. So here's the problem. I keep wanting to turn around. Scott keeps wants to go. And then as we go, they just keep getting better and better. But that's because we're getting closer to the dam and we're getting exactly in the alignment of where the sun rises. And that's where they did all these at. And so when, like this behind me here is because they got all this beautiful stuff in here. The, the rock is falling off, so you're losing a lot of it. And then you got graffiti sitting here just like this, up here on here like this. But then you got things like that. And then you got Scott over there. Yeah. Whew. Definitely worth the climb.
All right, Scott's figuring this out. We have spotted what I believe is to be the best petroglyph out of the 30 spots I've been to. This one here that we're gonna show you, that we're gonna risk our lives. <laughs> That's why I'm letting Scott go first. Uh, is absolutely amazing. Back is killing me, thighs are burning, but this is definitely awesome. Stay tuned. Let me show you something really quick if you want to do a quick just see a couple petroglyphs and, and do a thing right before you enter there's the bridge right here they have the pull off there's a rope and a fence right if you just go around where the uh with the vehicle is down there and just work your way up here i will show you the petroglyphs that are up here they got some really nice ones <music> All right, so what we're gonna do is we, uh, on the other side of, of this area right here is where we were just up looking at those petroglyphs. Uh, we parked the vehicles down there. And then here along this nicely paved road, as you go up this road uh, and you stop along the way, there are hundreds and hundreds of petroglyphs on the side of the road. So we're gonna stop, uh, make a couple of stops along the way uh, to check those petroglyphs out. Um, but this whole area is just saturated with un with so much history so much history uh you need to make it out here if you get the chance <laughs> 